been here in two years. I haven't been here in two years. I, I, I can't believe that. I moved away from Los Angeles, and I don't know about planes yet. Whoa. So, I guess yes. that's how it happened. They go almost everywhere. It's amazing. Um, where do you live now? I live in New York. I didn't know that. Yes, I'm in New York now. and um, I mean, I know you shoot there. But yeah, yeah, that's where we yeah. shoot, and we decided to move back there, which yeah. I kind of like, but I mean, it's I lived there before. It's, it's different. It's different. It's busy. It There's a lot going on. It's loud and busy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what they say about New York. Yeah. I have to just mention the boys the, from that soccer team, which I feel like I was watching backstage, and thank goodness we have that light in this world. I mean, they, they, the, what they exemplified in there is crazy. And I think about my own life, and I have a dumb life. I mean, there's nothing <laughs> hard about it. Like, I don't know what I would have done in that situation. I know. The fact that they were meditating and oh. praying the whole time, it's just... Yeah. Well, it goes to show you the strength in that. I mean, yeah. just that because they had no food. They were yeah. relying on their own will. I mean, that was, that I was know. incredible. I mean, I'm hungry right now, and I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm just, if I'm in traffic, I'm like, this is going to be an hour. I know. <laughs> Here's my water. No, yeah. I know. It's, it's a lot, but. It's, yeah. They're amazing. It's yep. a miracle. It really is. I know. Um, you just joined Instagram. Yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. I figured it was 2018. Uh -huh. It was maybe a little too early to join Instagram, but I was ready for it. Uh -huh. And uh, I've, st I've stayed away from social media for no good reason. Just I felt like, oh, that might be some more work that I didn't want to do. Uh -huh. uh, but I decided Julia Roberts joined in June. Mm -hmm. And I felt like she's, I'm like Julia Roberts. So uh, I, I, she got, I think, like 2 million followers in a week or something. I thought, I'll get that too. I ha don't have that. She's Julia Roberts. What do you have now? I'm, 25,000? Uh -huh. But here's the thing, when you talk about numbers like that, that's a lot, 20, 25,000 of anything, that's a lot. It is. But it's not, if you're on a television show, you sort of, I feel like you have a built-in following because people watch that show. Right. So what's disgusting is like watch, looking to see if you've gained followers, and you don't have this problem, but I do. <laughs> and you feel like, oh, no one's, no one's like being at, no one's follow, uh, joining the following. I see. And I went to this luncheon, uh, a very Hollywood luncheon, which I'm always present at. It was a nice luncheon before the Emmy Awards, and I sat next to Madeline Pesh, who is this um, uh, beautiful star of Riverdale. Mm -hmm. She's, I'm 38, she's 24. I thought, oh, uh, an older woman in Hollywood, I can give her some advice. And we started talking about Instagram, and she, I was like, you know, I just started gramming. I can, I can give you some tips, like, <laughs> about stories and... Uh, you know, you can do like time lapses and emojis on What's your What's wrong store. with you? You thought you could do that with her. I thought, why, why did I feel the need to impress this beautiful woman who I went home and she has over 10 million followers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's of course fine. she yeah, does. Of course she does. Yes. But I thought, at least, okay, so, so that I thought, okay, well, I'm helping out a younger woman in Hollywood. And then I thought, you know what's really going to like spike my numbers is gramming about this luncheon. So there were, the, but however, I was disappointed because there was a picture that I found that I was going to post. I think you have the picture uh, of the luncheon that I was going to like send my numbers soaring. Now, what a lunch! Do you see me? <laughs> there, where? Oh, there she is, the old black turtlenecked, white hand, pale hand in the left corner, right corner. Maybe. Can you zoom in, maybe? You guys look to the left. There she is. <laughs> well. For my first post, I looked up, I Google a lot of this information, which makes me sound 100. I was like, okay, well, what did Kylie Jenner post? Like, she has a lot of followers. She did, like, a, a roaring flame. And, like, Justin Bieber did, like, an open highway. So I did, I was like, well, inanimate object is the way to go. So I went to Levain Bakery. I bought a cookie only to take a picture of it and post it. Do you have that? Oh, there I am. See, I did, look. <laughs> I am proud of this post because there was a lot of controversy. Is it a scone or a cookie? Some people thought it was a blueberry muffin. I incite controversy. Well, by the way, it has <laughs> 1,300 likes. That's, that's... But see, what does that mean to you? Like, 1,003, that's like one. Yeah, I have 58 million followers, and what I do... Yeah, what do you do? What I do... <laughs> Maybe you should be talking about yeah. your Instagram feed. Yeah. <laughs> I try to include myself or like cute, cute, you know, animal things. Right. Or, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Those yeah. always get people. I think animals and yourself. My yeah. friend Joe said the same thing. She goes, no, you have to include yourself in yeah. it. But myself doesn't always look good. So I don't want to post. But now that's a nice thing. It's like become okay to not look good. Yeah, that's the new thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. The We're new the, the new thing is to not look good. No. Yeah. And post about it. Try to make yourself look as bad as possible. Yeah. Watch those numbers go up. I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right.